So I have to be kind of honest, the iPhone 11 is in a very, very strange spot right now. And I never really thought this iPhone would experience exactly what it's experienced been experiencing so far so interestingly early in its lifespan i feel like before whenever apple was to go ahead and pretty much drop an older iphone they would go ahead and basically still support a majority of features on it and it wasn't until like ios 12 with the iphone 6 and iphone 5s when apple really strategically started reducing and removing features within certain iphones so when we look at ios 12 i think one of the biggest updates or changes was group facetime and the iphone 6 and iphone 5s pretty much did not get those features could have easily supported it in my opinion but it ended up not getting it but when we look at something like the iphone 11 right now what is the correlation why even bring up those specific you know features not being supported on ios 12. well on the iphone 11 this iphone actually ended up getting a reduced amount of features compared to its direct successor, which was the iPhone 12. Now with an iPhone 12, this isn't really like the biggest change ever. I mean, there were definitely some noticeable changes, but I would say internally, there was a lot of similarity and overlap between an iPhone 11 and an iPhone 12. Same amount of RAM, definitely a better processor on the iPhone 12, but you were actually getting a bigger size battery on the iPhone 11. And again, even like the camera and so many other things, like there really wasn't those massive changes between them. But when we look at something on like on iOS 17, it is very strange to me that Apple has went down this direction and went down this route with the iPhone 11, when in reality, Apple you know, could have easily supported all of the features on iOS 17 on the iPhone 11. There were so many random features not included on the iPhone 11 on at least the first beta of iOS 17, and who knows what's going to happen by the last beta of iOS 17 when new features Apple's going to add, but what features are not going to be supported on the iPhone 11 either. So I say that to say, the iPhone 11 as of right now is in kind of a weird spot. It's not in a horrible spot, like it's still going to be a usable phone, it's still gonna be perfectly fine for the next probably two to three years, but I can't help but think that if Apple kept supporting this iPhone with the amount of features that this phone should have supported in the first place, I feel like this iPhone could have been in a really, really good spot for it to be, you know, probably one of the better iPhone price tags probably for the next couple of years. But now that Apple has already started reducing features on it right now, I feel like by next year, if the iPhone 12 ends up being that iPhone that gets limited features, what's the, like, what is the iPhone 11 going to look like at that point? Are they going to go ahead and pretty much, again, you know, reduce the even more amount of features on the iPhone 11? I guess we're going to have to wait and see what happens there, but I'm not really looking super excited about the future of the iPhone 11 right now. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.